I'm Alex, your Daily Code Mentor, episode number four, keeping that chain going. Today I'm talking to you about this uh, dashboard uh, uh, GitHub repository that one of my students wanted me to look over. And basically it's a simple dashboard example built with semantic UI and recharts and with big calendar. It's actually really cool and it got me thinking about uh, how I can uh, talk to you a little bit about how to get into these libraries. Personally, Richards is actually the one with, in which I have the least experience, but as you can see, um, it's actually a, a declarative uh, uh, graph, cha uh, graph charting library. So the way it works is that you put your data in the chart, like you have your chart container, in this case a line chart based on the type, and then you're going to uh, add the specific types of uh, uh, illustration, whether you need your axes, how do you want to label them, etc., you got to put them as components. So once you know this, uh, you can jump into the, the whole library and it's, uh, it's actually not that complex. So it's actually amazing documentation, really cool. You're going to have all your uh, <coughs> different type of bars, different type of graphs. And as you see, you have your different uh, uh, components that you can use and simply put the components in the appropriate graph and you're basically good to go. There's not much else to say. Just go over this documentation, which is one of the top documentations in the world. Next up is Big Calendar. Big Calendar is really cool because you have your um, calendar and it allows you to think in terms of um, uh, blocks. So this will be a block. This will be an event. It allows you to plot the events. It allows you to see them as weeks. It allows you to see them as months or as days. So it allows you really to, to, to get all of these functionalities uh, out of the box. And as you we're going to see, it's actually very simple. You're going to have a localizer. The reason why you need this localizer, just view it as something you have to do. Like uh, It's because um, localizing data is actually super hard. Dates is a very complex topic. And uh, thank God there's uh, UTC at least. But that said, um, in order to completely avoid the uh, discussion on dates, uh, they implemented Big Calendar in uh, uh, the Big Calendar needs a, mo a localizer basically, and that's uh, as far as you have to take it. There's no need to go deeper. So the instead the, uh, you can find here in the API all the props, and what you're gonna see is that a bunch of props are like the list of events. For example, this is how you feed your data into it, and the events are just objects that have a title. As you can see, a start time, a title, a start and end on all day, and a resource. It's actually very simple. And then you're gonna have your functions that allow you to uh, show things. So you're going to have your, and you're also going to have your on the click, on range change, on select slot. So when you click the slot, super cool, on select event when you click the event. And so you can, um, you can actually build this uh, in a fairly fast way. So it allows you to skip all of the hustle, all of the grind to get this calendar and you just get it quote unquote for free. Uh, the third library, which is incredible, I should be making a course on this. Let, let me know in the comments if you want to, like a, a couple hours crash course, like super intense that gets you from A to Z in less than two hours on Semantic UI React, because to me, it's the most powerful React library in terms of uh, UI components. And as you can see, there's a bunch of them. Uh, my favorite way to look at them is to go in the theming section. And uh, you can check for themes. Actually, it's not this one. It's uh, the layout example section. And you click on the theming example. And as you can see, you're going to have all your bunch of colors, your headings, your texts, your various UI features. And you get all of this for free. And one of my favorite ones is the loading. Most of the elements have a, a Boolean property loading that allows you to specify whether, the, uh, whether it's loading or not. You know, so that allows you to interact, uh, create a very interactive app very fast. And uh, um, honestly, Semantic UI is at the core of uh, the way I work with React, so I really love it. Uh, a couple things I want to mention is uh, the beauty of models. Models are done incredibly well, so you can just uh, look them up. Model, and it can be a control component. It can be very complex. It can be less complex. It can have button. It could be large. It could be small. There's a bunch of stuff, and it's uh, done in a very smooth way. It's very simple to use. Uh, the other thing I use all the time are grids. Uh, grids are basically, it's basically very similar to Bootstrap, uh, with the exception that they tend to have 
padding so there it's more of a stylistic decision but basically this is the bread and butter grid the other one is table tables are amazing on uh, in semantic ui react so i highly 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 recommend using semantic ui react if you want to build dashboards because it's allow it allows you to to build them so rapidly uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested in that topic and uh, the last thing as i said is the loader i like the fact that you can just use a boolean property to say that it's loading this is actually the loader uh, but you can set that property in almost anything, like a button, and a button could be loading, for example, uh, which is incredible. It's just such a convenient tool, honestly, such a convenient tool, to the point where when I use my um, input libraries, when I build my own uh, functions to build inputs, I will have a, uh, a property of loading inside of the form, and I will also have a property of edited, so that allows me to play around with the disabled features, you know, when you cannot interact with it, and then with the loading. So with that said, you can get uh, more information for Semantic UI at react.semanticui.com. You can get more information for recharts at recharts.org. And you can get more information for Big Calendar at uh, this link that is going to be in the description. And uh, uh, the link for the dashboard as well is going to be in the description. If you're interested in working with me, I'm hanging out the full week on Code Mentor. You just type in codementor.io slash Alessandro Valerani. I'm one of the top rising code mentor, basically top rated, five star, five out of five, rocking it, featured. And um, uh, if I can't help, I'm gonna refund you. I don't care about your money if I cannot help you. I really love this job. So if you wanna work with me, feel free to click on the link below. Otherwise, I wish you an amazing day and see you soon. Actually, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, ciao.